peaceful. Several states across the country calling on liquor stores and bars to remove Russian-made products from their shelves. While New York has yet to follow suit here in the Hudson Valley, Russian liquor has become quite the taboo topic. News 12's Emily Young has that story. We should throw all the Russian vodka out in the toilet and buy Tito's American. There's a steady stream of customers coming in to buy Wise Liquor Outlet on Route 59 in Annuet. And, well, they all have one thing in common. No one is buying Russian liquor. I just feel it's an injustice of what Putin is doing. And it's the least I can do to support them. Well, there's a lot of small talk going around about this. And the customers are coming in, talking to amongst themselves, to us, to others, that they do not want to support Russian brands during this time. 24.99, right in your price range. Right. It's full bodied, has rich berry. Okay. Michael Costanzo is the manager here. I mean, it's all day long. That's what we hear. Stephen Hecht routinely has a friend from Russia send him liquor. Bottles that you could only get in Russia. You can't get them in the U.S. And now I, I won't take them anymore. I said, don't bring them to me because I don't want to support what's going on within the country. And while Russian liquor is going completely untouched, his customers have a new request. You know, do you have any Ukrainian products, vodka, i.e., anything else? And he does. Core is a Ukrainian vodka that's been distilled seven times. And now it started selling because of this conflict. So how long will this unofficial boycott last? As long as it takes. As long as he's there or he continues to do what he's doing. In Nanuet, Emily Young, News 12. Over the weekend, Governor Kathy Hochul signed an executive order forbidding the state from investing in any Russian entities. No word on any future plans to also boycott products imported from that nation.